So notes, one, seven, multiply and divide rational numbers. Okay, we're going to talk about fractions, multiplying and dividing fractions. We kind of did multiplying and dividing integers uh, about a week and a half ago, but we're going to dive deeper into this. So when it talks about to multiplying fractions, you multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators, and then you simplify if needed. Um, to multiply mixed numbers, so mixed numbers is what we were working on yesterday. Rename each mixed number as an improper fraction, then multiply the fractions, simplify if needed. So that's just kind of the quick version. So we're going to do some examples right here. So I don't love that it's already done for you. So I'm going to do it out to the side. So I want you to write it out to the side also. Um, usually I delete all that, but I didn't, I guess. So two thirds times four fifths. Okay. So in multiplication, there's a process. I always cross simplify. In multiplication, we don't cross multiply, okay? That's later on when we're solving other things. And so people get confused and they go back and forth. But I do cross simplify. In this case, we can't. So I'll show you a case in a minute where we can. But we can't. So we're just going to multiply straight across. 2 times 4 is what? 8. <coughs> 3 times 5 is what? 15. And then we simplify if needed. Can we simplify? No. no. 8 is even and 15 is odd, so it doesn't even go into e with each other. Okay, so our answer is 8 15 I think people find multiplying and dividing easier if they remember the rules. Um, so let's look at this next one. 1 third times 2 and a half. Okay, when we have a mixed number, this is a mixed number right here. Okay, we have to change it to improper first. So I'm going to Texas it. Two times two is four plus one is five. So one third times five over two. <coughs> I don't know what it is. Um, and so now we're just going to multiply straight across. So one times five is three times two is six. six. And we're done. Pretty simple, right? Okay. So let's do exercise one. I can't simplify anywhere, so I'm just going to say two times two is? Three times three is? Nine. And it can't be simplified any more than that, so we're done. Okay, are y'all with me? Yes, sir. Okay, now number two, one times seven is? Seven. Two times eight is? Six. Okay, seven sixteenths. We can't simplify any more than that. Number three. Okay, integer rules. Now, I can multiply straight across. Okay, I could say... 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 5 is 15, but what am I going to have to do again? What am I going to have to do again now? Okay, because it's divisible by 3, right? So it's negative 1 fifth. I'm going to show you another way. I think y'all have seen it before, hopefully. Now, in multiplication, we can cross simplify. So that means if these match up or these match up, then I can simplify them, okay? And it happens to be that these right here match up, right? Three and three. They're both divisible by three, right? So I can divide by three and get one, divide by three and get one, and then multiply straight across. One times one is one, one times five is five, and the sign is negative. Do, have y'all seen that before? Okay, perfect. Do you understand what happens there? Okay, if you feel comfortable with that, do it. If you don't feel comfortable with that, don't do it, okay? It, it's really way more important when the numbers get bigger that you simplify so that you can kind of see the pattern, okay? Number four. Five ninths times four. Okay, so this is a whole number. Four is a whole number. So we have to put it over one. 
Okay, I can't simplify, cross simplify, so I'm just gonna multiply straight across. Five times four is? 20. Nine times one is? Nine. Nine, nine will go into 20. Two times with two left over. Okay, the other way to find that is 20 divided by nine. This is our remainder. It talks about that on our computation paper over nine. So we would write it as two and two ninths. That's how you get that if you are not sure. Okay. How you feeling? Give me a thumb. Give me a. Okay. Not too bad. Everybody's not okay. Look at this one. What are we going to have to do with number five first? Text is it, okay? We're going to text is it because it's mixed and we need to make it improper. So it's going to be three times one is three plus two is five. And then times negative three fifths, okay? We can cross simplify this on both ways. Do you see it? Okay? If you cross simplify here and then here, you can simplify those both to what? One. Okay, and then this is one and one. So we have one times one is one, one times one is one. Positive times a negative is a negative. So our answer is negative one. Are you feeling good about this? No? Okay, we're gonna do a few more, okay? Number six, three and three fourths times one and one six. We're gonna text us it, yes. Okay, so multiply and add. Four times three is 12, 12 plus three is? 15. Okay, six times one is six plus one is? Okay, I can simplify this, okay? Four and seven don't simplify, but 15 and six are both divisible by three. Can I just multiply straight across? Yes. 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 But I, I prefer to simplify. It's just I don't have to do it at the end. So I would simplify here, and they're both divisible by 3. This would be 5. This, is be, this would be 2. And then multiply now. 5 times 7 is 35. 4 times 2 is 8. Goes into 35. 4 times. With 3 left over. Okay, you good? Okay. Now, um, is that all on that page? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so if you did straight across, we would do 15 times 7. Okay, so 105. And then 105 over 24. So 24 goes into 105 four times with, hold on, 24 times 4. So 4, 9 left over 9, 24, but 9, 24 can simplify down to 3 eighths. Okay, okay. So I, I'm going to stop it right here.